Hello everybody, welcome to Aero BB, week number nine. We've got that there, Phil, with his Nurgle up against PK83 and his Necromantic. These nice wolves and uh, a Rackle Ghoul, Mighty Blow, White and a Benched Ghoul. And uh, yep, we've got a fair bit of Mighty Blow for that there, Phil, but no Claw. So we'll see how he does again. Yeah, yeah. So the ki so the other people who are playing are playing at twenty thirty UTC, and Kvog is playing at twenty one thirty CET, which I assumed was Central European time. But uh, I thought then I had a moment of sheer panic and thought, what if there's a an American's time zone that's <laughs> CET? <laughs> <laughs> or something. I'm sure there's one, isn't there? There's central time, isn't there? In America. American's got central time, hasn't it? So anyway, there's a big blitz. A move 9 wolf. Strength 4 behind enemy lines. And the other wolf. Ooh. Ooh, this is a bit, uh, this is a bit... Um, yeah, CST, there, there you go, so it's CST is the American one, and CET is European, yeah, I, I knew there was a Central American time. So maybe he should have, like, tagged this Rackler, and, you know, maybe done a dodge with this guy. Or, like, maybe, you know, maybe you could have, maybe you could have got this guy GFI'd onto him, and then this guy tagging him, right? If you could have had both of these guys tagged, that would have been incredible, wouldn't it? That would have been absolutely incredible to have both guys tagged. But, um, you know, didn't. <laughs> no one lives in those parts. <laughs> Somebody must do, it's a big country. No, we're going for the right one. Because he hasn't got sidestep, right? So he's a, he's the a better one to blitz. Because because not only because he's strength four, he also hasn't got sidestep. So Chicago's there, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Someone's going to be in every time zone. Isn't it? Maybe the Mighty Blow should have done the Blitz, eh? The Mighty Blow could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I would have probably tried to free him first, just for the chance of getting to hit the Strength 4 with uh, with Mighty Blow Tackle, because, you know, I, I really want to cast this Wolf, right? And I know he's got regen. But still, you know, even a KO, like, I think it's really important to get rid of the Wolves. So, obviously the rest has got more chance of knocking him over, but... You really, really, really want to hurt him. Like, you might just blitz the uh, beast with him, might you? Because <laughs> he's got like he's got the players there that he could just put two players in the blitz. Oh, but he's got the guard there. Wait. This was, this was a frenzy trap, wasn't it? And then blitz. Blitz this one. Yeah, that's pretty nice. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. And then try and dodge away from the tents. Diced. Yeah, a lot of... A lot of uh, problems for that there, Phil. Freeze up, a, freeze up a warrior. But he's got a guy over here. Beast is just holding him. I don't like this blitz at all because it's it's sticking him. I want to be blitzing this ghoul here <laughs> and uh, not getting stuck. Yeah, 
didn't like that. I didn't like that blitz. And then he comes back. And then he could have blitzed with this one, right? This one could have blitzed and then stood here. And that was way better. So, yeah. And then obviously you're getting to Mighty Blower. Mighty Blower Ghoul as well. A Gowl. And, like, this is this corner is still pretty strong, right? This corner is still pretty strong just because he hasn't got stuff around there. And then, like, even if he hits things, it's not doing, you know, it's not probably not going to do the job. But he's going for it anyway. I mean, I would have done, I would have done red hair. Well, I would have done watching it here, of course. And, you know, might have made a mistake if I was playing, but I think that was correct. Does the GFI here, which sets up the chain, which I'm not sure what the chain achieves, but it does set up the chain. This is looking horrible for that there, Phil. And now the beast is isolated <laughs> with his helper. This guy's isolated. Oh god, the beast's good against elves. This is uh, this is nightmare. Nightmare for Phil here. The pow. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Make some two Ds, hope for the best. I mean, this has gone pretty decently well. Like the only, the only possible strat being roll some two Ds and hope for the best. This has gone pretty decently. So the wolf can push him out to here, and then. Uh, Oh, he starts with a dodge. Flip me. Not a fan of that dodge when you've got, like, other things you can be doing. Oh, he was trying to chain him into there, maybe, but then didn't fill that square. Oof. Oh, no, it was to get this guy on. A 1D. Then that gets the 2D that way. Yeah, that's probably good, actually. At first I thought he was trying to chain him into the wolf, but, uh... Oh my god, he's skulls because he he's got that behind him. Flip me. Well, a scramble for the balls. And all of a sudden, Phil might get away with this. <laughs> might do. That strength four wolf stunning itself is, is uh, pretty good, isn't it? This is fantastic, isn't it? Powering him, chaining him to activate the beast is, uh, is amazing. And then he can get onto the fleshy. It's, the ball is trapped, though. <laughs> the problem with there was the follow. He had to not follow, I think, and then get the ball out around here. Because the ball is just trapped. Lovely foul. Three assists. Mm. 
So we have instant 2D on him. And then... And we can 1D. Get all time. No, he can't because his guard there. So you'd have to 1D him and then chain him out. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this chain here. Flip me. Flip me, guys. So he gets to blitz and then move him in here. Whoa. doesn't reroll because he's only got one left. That's a bit sad, isn't it? That's a bit sad. But that was a, it was a good it was a good that was a good chain there, wasn't it, to do that? That was pretty cool. Kinda crazy like just all of the squares being already filled. <laughs> like it didn't have to it didn't have to fill anything in to do it. It was just there. <laughs> just a million people. Oh wow. Big region. from this strength for oh I guess you've got him really fucked on I think I still like the strength for blitzing. Like the warrior blitzing and then moving the uh beast up. Under the cosh here, I mean, I, I think he'll be happy to get out of this half nil nil with that there, Phil, because this is uh... Oh, look at that. Lovely, lovely get the rack of the back as a safety. I like that. Interesting, I would have not left my strength four on the beast. Super interesting. So now he's got to get moving, hasn't he? As much as Nurgle can. <laughs> this is the problem now. Now the wolves just become incredible. This is what Tapioca needed, right? Two guys central, even touching each other, so it's harder to face them out with, uh, with an elf. Oh wow! Well, the Dublay skulls. No, just a one in nine. He was a rookie. So maybe that was better to like block with this guy. If it was possible, I don't know what the uh, how the assists work and everything. But like, if you know, if you could have tried to have freed up this beast man, get a bit more movement to get up the field. Oh wow, he made that block before moving the ball. And uh, that 
spells disaster for that rare fill at sacrifice. It was unlucky, it wasn't a one it was a one in twenty-seven. But you know, could have moved upfield first. A scoring threat though, maybe this guy should have even on a movement five. And he's got no rerolls left, so I guess he's happy with the uh, nil nil here. Okay, he's getting he's getting the zombie in the scoring range. <laughs> I like it, right? Some chances better than no chance. Been crucial with that in the region. So good defence from PK, but I think he'll be a bit sad if he didn't turn over Phil and get the one nil air because things were looking so strong after that blitz and that left Phil was in a hell of a lot of trouble. He managed to uh, wriggle his way out of it. And to the fair bit of attrition, I guess. But I guess that helped, like all the all the removals. Made it tough for PK83 to convert his advantage into a score. But, you know, at least, like at least stopping it. But I think it was stopped pretty quickly, to be honest. And after that, it was, uh, you know, maybe he should have tried to switch gears into getting the score more than than just stopping. Like, do you know what I mean? The stop was wasn't assured, but it was it was looking very strong. The stop was looking because the stop was looking likely. You know, maybe had to switch gears and look more to try to get the turnover. You know, Elliot would say it's not over, <laughs> but the drive was. You no, know, it wasn't over. Right? They could have always broken away. So it was, I like I liked having the wolf back as a safety. Right in the corner. Shouldn't really be an issue versus nerves. If yet, <laughs> well, Ghoul isn't safe either yet. Uh, because Baron Bucky uh, in second dead, people thought the idea of a Nurgle team was funny. Being like, you know, just piles of slime and stuff, and big zombie type people, and they just thought that was funny. 
So one of the big teams was the Nurgle Rotters. We didn't have we actually didn't have any rules in second dead. Um, I think they I think they were invented in first dead, right? And then had the rules in first dead. So I guess they just thought in first dead they thought this is a team that would be funny. And then uh, they weren't a team in third ed for a while. They were just they were just chaos. You know, it could be anything. And then at some point somebody thought, let's make Nurgle a proper team instead of just being uh, just being chaos because Jervis Johnson wanted the like original teams back in, right? Like Slan and Underworld and stuff. And I guess one of those was Nurgle. Like he wanted them in. I mean, that was that was a different thing. But you know, maybe maybe that was the idea. Bring back Nurgle, like first dead. So they've just been. There's just always been in the fluff, like a bit of Nurgle, and there's never really been Slanesh or Zinch in the fluff, and only a little bit of Corn. And then Corn is like really popular, isn't it? Corn is really popular because, you know, people are like, rah, rah, blood, skulls, you know, rah, 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 violence. So, so Corn's, you know, just, just probably, I mean, almost certainly, it's got to be the most popular Chaos God, hasn't it, in terms of sales and everything. Surely in popularity, it's got to be Corn. So, with that in mind, you know, Cyanide trying to monetize that in Blood Bowl 1 came up with Corn Demons and then maybe because that worked, ish or you know, the people at Games Workshop thought that was a good idea they did their own Corn team but Corn's never really been a, a thing particularly in Blood Bowl What is better than a plus strength wolf? Not much. I think sidestep is better than movement. And then obviously once he gets sidestep, he'll, then he'll be better. Then he'll be better than maybe not better than sidestep tackle. I don't know. It's interesting, isn't it? The, the movements take a long time to pay off. Wow, rerolls the foul appearance. I'm not sure it was that urgent. Turn three of the drive to get through. Ah, the jump up gowl. Sorry, Poke, I'm, I'm very tired. I haven't had a nap today, so I'm. I'm uh <laughs> I'm fucked basically. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, wolves with stats are pretty good, aren't they? And I mean they even with normals, like a full normal wolf. With like block, dodge, tackle, sidestep. You know, four normals, it's still good. Maybe after the fifth double, then after the fifth normal, they're not looking so good. But yeah, wolves are really nice. Oh, really nice, but they do need blood. Like, they need blood, don't they? Whereas dancers could just take six stats and still be amazing players. No, the other one is. 
Oh, I guess it's wrestle, so you lose less if you bit with the, uh, the shit wolf. <laughs> I love that the movement nine sides blood stepper is the shit wolf, but it really, really is, isn't it? A little bit risky going on the sideline here. Like, you know, you're not protecting the wolves anyway, so you might as well get inside and uh, give yourself a bit more breathing room, I think. Oh, that lets you get the beast in. Beast Blitz. Yeah, Blitz. Bl beast Blitz for me. I think that's the player here, the Beast Blitz. Now. Oh, I'm too noob for you. Um, no. <laughs> the short answer is no. Um, no. <laughs> the long answer is no. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Blood Bowl 3 is unfortunately not. Very good. Yeah, I think he'd try to try and get the beast in here, honestly. I really wanted to try and get the beast, like double GFI bullets. Maybe just single GFI, but then he would have the GFI of that warrior to go. PK. Honestly, I'm glad that you think it looks shit because, you know, we get people who play Blood Bowl 3 and they they think it looks alright and I'm like, how? How can you think it looks alright? And I think I'm going crazy because I think it looks absolutely horrendous. Like, just from watching as well, like, you know, different playing, you know, the UI and stuff when you're playing is one thing, but even watching on Twitch, like, I just, I just... And the individual things are good. That's that's the worst part, right? Like the individual parts of it are good. It just doesn't work as like a whole, right? There's no there's no foreground and background. It's just all it's all foreground and stuff, and everything's completely for your attention. It's rough. Rough. Yeah, Blood Bowl Three's got the new rules, right? So like, it's got that going for it. That's pretty much all it has going for it. Um, it's got the new rules, and you know, Blood Bowl 2 rule set is not using the real rules, and the real rules that it's copied off are 13 years old. So, you know, Blood Bowl 2 rules are pretty shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, Blood Bowl 2 rules are wrong on purpose as well, you know? Um... I don't really think so. I'm too new for you. Some people do. The thing is, like, the, the claw pom obviously wasn't really a thing that affected tabletop anyway. Um, I think I'd be actively sad about going from 2016 to 2020. But I think going from CRP to 2020, um, it's good enough that, you know, we've lost claw pom basically. <laughs> You <laughs> have multi blocking case with it. Yeah. But, like, that's the thing, it's like, basically, if you haven't got the latest rules, you're doomed to, like, die eventually, aren't you? That's the problem, so. Long. Even though these rules have been outdated for eight years. <laughs> well, seven years. Even though these rules have been outdated for seven years, it didn't feel that bad because there was no Blood Bowl 3. But now there's Blood Bowl 3, it's like these are the old rules and how can you play them? Yeah, well that's, that's the thing, yeah, without Clawpaw obviously the dwarves and the orcs are uh, very, very powerful. No. 
Well, he got he got removal instantly, didn't he? But then no more, no more after that. This is, doesn't seem urgent enough, does it? This is more like a normal drive from that there, Phil. This isn't a, like, I've got three turns to score drive, right? This is just a normal offensive drive. I wonder if you, like, zoned out a bit like I have done. <laughs> and, like, you know, like, do you need this guy behind the ball? No. You need things in front of you. You need, you need penetration, you know? He's only got three turns to score. That whole, that whole turn had to be a lot more aggressive than what this is. Maybe he did need that guy there, after a while. <laughs> Maybe I'm an idiot. <laughs> but he could have had the ball, like, slightly further over, couldn't he, and stuff. Like, again, I just think he had to, like, push up and, uh, and try hard to get forward. He's got a power fleshy now, hasn't he, which isn't good. If he follows, though, if he follows... That's diced. Instant blitz. I think you just have to dodge away from him, honestly. I think you have to dodge away from him there and blitz something else because you've got to get upfield. It's Tapioca King all over again. Uh, you know, like, how do you get up and score this? It sure doesn't look like it's happening right now. Yeah, honestly, I wonder if he just zoned out the turn before. Because I've done that. <laughs> like, I did it watching, but I've done that before playing, you know, and it's just like, oh shit, this was a three turn drive, and I've just, like, played normally. <laughs> so maybe that's what he did. Oh, there you go, double one. Definitely not going to score on double one. <laughs> it was a good effort though, it was a good effort just going for the potato. <laughs> Full potato. I obviously totally, totally uh, irrelevant scoring threat as far as that there, Phil is concerned because 2 0 is just the same as a 1 0 loss. Wait, it's, it's turn 16, so it's not a scoring threat anyway. He was just running away. Sorry again, I must reiterate, I'm very tired. Very, very tired. That's it, neither side could score. So he just ran away with a gowl. And gets the win, PK83, and it's it's really not that surprising, right? Like, it's, it's wild, like, how close everybody is, so... That's why um, when I wasn't sure I was mathematically assured of a playoff spot on week eight, I kind of thought I was just because the fact that people were going to take, like, inevitably have to take points off each other in this race up for like the top three and the top eight. It's still a wide open race. Uh, there's there's ten, 10 teams vying for eight spots. And two people are going to get. Mm. So I guess it was the blitz, right? The blitz really, uh, really put that there, fell on the back foot. Did well to get out of it, nil nil. And then second half, got some pressure on, got the three turn chance, but then just didn't, didn't even like vaguely try to take advantage of it. Just played like turn one of, of turn one of the half, wasn't it? I absolutely had to really, had to really try and uh, motor through that half if he'd. Uh... But yeah, maybe he just lost. Focus, there you go. Congratulations to PK83. Commiserations to that there, Phil. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.